Our final type topic in this section is being able to solve a quadratic equation with a complex solution. And so we know that a quadratic has this form, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, or a quadratic equation. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the quadratic formula to be able to solve. And then sometimes what happens is underneath of this radical, we get a negative number from the b squared minus 4ac. All right? And so what that means is we just get a complex solution. And we can just write it in the form a plus bi. Okay? Sometimes the numbers are really nice. Sometimes they're not. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some examples of this. So our first one that we have, we want to solve our equations using the quadratic formula. And we have x squared minus 2x equals negative 10. To solve any quadratic, the first thing you should always do is set the quadratic to 0. So we're going to take this negative 10, add it to the left-hand side, and we're going to get x squared minus 2x plus 10 equals 0. And so in our quadratic, a is going to be the coefficient of the x squared, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant so in this formula a is 1 b is negative 2 and c is 10 and we're just going to substitute immediately into the quadratic formula and so x is going to be equal to the opposite of negative 2 so that's negative b plus or minus the square root of b square so that's negative 2 square minus 4 times a which is 1 times c, which is 10, and then we divide that by 2 times 1, or 2a. Now, here's where we simplify. We know the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. Under our radical, negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 10 is 40, and there's a minus sign. There. So it's negative 40, and then 2 times 1 is 2. 4 minus 40 is negative 36, and here's where we can see that this is going to be a complex pair of solutions for this, right? Now, to simplify negative 36 square root, remember, that's the same as 36 times negative 1, or root 36 times negative 1, or 6i, okay? So remember, the square root of negative 1 is i, and so now we can write this as 2 plus minus 6i divided by 2, which is going to be the same as 2 over 2, plus or minus 6i over 2, okay, just by breaking up into two smaller fractions because we're dividing by a monomial. And then finally, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6i over 2 is 3i, all right? Um, and notice that this is called a conjugate pair, all right? Usually, in fact, always when we have complex solutions, we usually have one of the form a plus bi, and then the other one is a minus bi. OK, now sometimes A is zero. All right. And that's not going to happen in these series, but it could happen that we only get complex roots for these. Right. So those are that's a pretty easy sort of problem to where there's not really much algebra. It's just computation. This one's going to be a little bit uglier. OK, but with respect to what the solution looks like, but no more difficult. I don't think. And so this one's already set equal to zero, unlike the previous. And so A is two, B is five. C is 8. So we have all positive numbers. Right? So let's go ahead and simplify um, our quadratic formula, just in case we forgot it. Um, negative b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And so going down here, we have that x equals the opposite of b, which is negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b square, which is 5 square, minus 4 times 2 times 8. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to divide that by 2 times a, right? So if we divide that by 2 times a, that's 2 times 2. And now we're going to simplify. So that's negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 4 times 2 is 8 times another 8 is 64. And now we can see that we're going to get a complex sort of root here. And in the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. Um, 25 minus 64 is going to give us a 39 negative. So negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 39 over 4. Right? Nothing we can do with 39. Okay? The only numbers that multiply to be 39 are 1 times 39 and then 3 times 13. Um, there's no perfect square fact 
issues within that. Okay, so we're kind of saddled with just going through and being able to simplify the negative 39. And we could think of negative root 39 as 39 times negative one, which is gonna be root 39 odd, okay? So, and that's okay. It doesn't necessarily always have to simplify um, or whatever's under the radical if it's negative. It doesn't always have to simplify completely. We could still have a square root um, or an irrational number times odd. And so this would be negative five plus or minus the square root of 39i divided by four. And then we could split this up into two separate, like a real part and then also a complex part. And so negative five fourths is the real part. And then we have plus minus 39 over four i would be the complex part. And again, once again, notice that we get these conjugate pairs of solutions, okay? So if we were to write this like a solution set, we would have negative five fourths plus root 39 over four i. And then the other solution would be negative five fourths minus root 39 fourths i, okay? So if we wanted to write it in the set notation, um, that's what it would look like, okay? So those are our two solutions. And then back up top, for the previous problem, we could say that x would be equal to either one plus three i or one minus three i, okay? So hopefully this helps to be able to see how to solve these sorts of equations that have complex solutions, all right? Um, in subsequent videos in this section, now we're gonna start taking a look at polynomial functions, okay? And in the next section, we're gonna start looking at the most simple of, of um, the polynomial types other than linear, we're going to start taking a look at quadratic types.